Why is it that so many people have been sick, are sick, are just getting sick, or have been sick actually for a few weeks now, or not feeling well? Um, today is uh, March 21st. I myself am recovering from a strong flu. I'm still coughing, still having problems with my sinuses. <clears throat> and um, I would like to share what is going on and clarify um, some misconceptions and show you that there are some very simple natural causes but also some energetic cyclic reasons. Actually, I just realized that last month we had a similar situation. But it feels like last month it was not as intense as this month. So let's dive into this before I start coughing a lot again. And uh, let's discover it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Murat. And today I'm going to answer a question that may be on your mind. Why is it I'm, I'm sick or just recovered from being sick? Why am I not feeling well? Uh, major headaches, uh, problems with your sinuses, um, throat problems, uh, fever, uh, muscle pain, bone pain, joints, uh, lack of concentration, tiredness, um, irregular sleep, coughing, sneezing. You know it. Why now? <clears throat> Hell, spring is coming. Spring is starting. I mean, for those in the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is the opposite. Hey, it's autumn. Ah, yeah. You see, autumn is starting, so ah, I'm going to get sick. But uh, yeah, there, there are a few things that happened. And well, they apply for both hemispheres. So first of all, there was a major solar storm and as you know solar storms are electromagnetic we are actually like everything in in the universe in the known universe is electric atoms have have uh, electrons going around the the core and um, And everything can get disrupted by a strong electromagnetic field. And so when there is a, a solar flare, big one, big solar storm, an eruption of gamma radiation, then it affects us. And maybe you remember that I talked about this year being a year where the immune system is important, where it's very important to pay attention to our health. Well, I, for example, I, I ignored my own advice. And that's why I got sick last week. I spent most of the, the week in bed, not being able to do anything, being frustrated because it's really boring not being able to do anything, just laying there. And then have sweat explosions and fever and feeling pain everywhere. So, yeah, it was a reminder. A reminder that we need to take good care of ourselves. And take care of, uh, taking good care of ourselves is not just eating healthy, but also resting, sleeping enough exercising um, if you are unable to do fitness or things like that just have a walk have a swim but get your body in motion um, and some people might say it's the equinox also well that's very possible Whether in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, we just crossed the moment of 
um, the days becoming longer and the nights or if in the southern hemisphere the nights are now becoming longer than the days it's the period of waking up from the winter sleep or it's the period of heading towards the winter sleep it's going from rest to action or from action to rest and these are not just metaphors many of us are much more active during summertime we simply have more energy we need less sleep we can do much more for much longer being in a better mood simply because there's more sunlight you see also that during summer there are much less suicides I mean why do you think there are so many suicides in northern Europe I mean like really up north <clears throat> especially during winter time because there is a lack of sunlight so people get depressed and when you're emotionally out of balance, depression is just an example of it, then this also attacks your physical. So I could stop the video here because now you know why you have been feeling so bad or why you, you are close to getting sick or why just there are so many people around you being sick, having the flu or whatever. But for those who like the jinkies, it is interesting that at this moment, the jinky at play is 25, which has at the shadow constriction, and the path is acceptance. And that leads to universal love. And when I saw this, it made totally sense to me how I felt all these restrictions, even the restriction of breath. And when I surrendered to it, I started to feel some calmness. And I was able to feel love for myself again. Instead of judging my body for not doing what I want to do, not being able to to do the things I promised to others. I had to cancel the workshop last weekend. Well, it is what it is. If not for me being sick, then probably I wouldn't have recorded the video. And then you wouldn't have had this answer. At least not for me. So let this be a reminder that it's really important to take good care of your health, of yourself, your well-being, putting your boundaries, respecting yourself, loving yourself, and acting from there. And I'm sure if you start digging if, you, if you're interested in that, you, you'll find a lot about <clears throat> solar activity and how it affects us and things like that. Or the, uh, the equinox. You can find things if you want. There's a lot on YouTube. There's a lot on, on the internet in general. But for now, I recommend you to just take good care of your health. And um, see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, and share.